April the 7th, 2019. As you're looking at uh, one of the Weather Channel's maps here, a couple things. Uh, it looks like we're going to have some trouble in the southeast. Houston, you are getting uh, approached very quickly from the west. Check this out. A lot of storms in this. Also, another thing for you guys in uh, in the central part here in the, of the southeast, the time stamp as I play this uh, future cast forward is Eastern Daylight Time. So as I'm doing the video now, it is not 1232 for you guys watching all along this area it is 11 32 so just be aware of that let me play this thing uh forward and uh go from there with it as it moves forward again keep up with your time stamp right there at three o'clock eastern which is two o'clock central houston you're really heavily under the gun and it's going to come up through shreveport notice that it's going to be getting into our area around in the central Mississippi area about 6 p.m., 6 to 8 to 9 o'clock tonight. Things could get rough. It depends on how far this pulls up. But again, when, when it stops, I'll stop it uh, at the end of this, and you can look at your time uh, right there. Okay. Shreveport, you're fully involved in storms. Beaumont, Houston, they're starting to pull out of your area. Again, the trailing continues up into the east coast. Uh, but at 5.30 p.m. Central, this is 6.35 Eastern, 5.35, the, again, Shreveport's involved. Rain is moving into the Jackson, Mississippi area all along the coast. Now, I'll uh, do another update this afternoon as this develops. Again, a future cast can change. But these large storms can be dangerous. As right now, it is um, 77 degrees in central Mississippi. The real feel is 83. Uh, the first day uh, that we've had used our air conditioner. But uh, the this change and this difference in humidity, coming uh, mixing with the cooler weather north in Oklahoma up through that area, guys, is going to feed the turbulence and the storms we got to watch it because we are in a severe area watch they're also saying that this intense april storm to bring heavy snow high winds potential blizzard uh, conditions to the plains in the upper midwest just what nebraska and some of those folks up there do not need they're trying to recover been devastating guys it's so far widespread i don't know why the mainstream media is not covering it because I've talked about it uh, in the Mississippi River video where we went up on the levees. They, uh, the crop damage there is going to be uh, millions, if not billions of dollars. And uh, the only thing worse than the crop damage through the Mississippi Valley Delta is what's happened again up in the Nebraska area. All through that, tremendous amount of crop damage. When the, you still got water standing in the fields or mud, you cannot plant. So this is something that everyone has to be aware of because coming this summer, your food prices and scarcity on certain items will be not be there uh, or they will be very expensive. But again, guys, um, I'll update this afternoon when we see what the future cast brings. This could be another bomb of Genesis. You see right in the Omaha area is kind of the center of this rotation. And some are saying bomb of Genesis not what we need and again abomogenesis guys is term is a term that uh, is about a strong storm but you drop 24 millibars of pressure barometric pressure within 24 hours it's a very fast drop but that's how they determine the uh, abomogenesis title that's how where it comes from and the last one was devastating that's what we're talking about in nebraska but guys we're watching it you watch it to keep your eyes on the south east today also, watch for an afternoon update, and don't miss our show tonight. There's some very interesting things we're going to talk about. Again, 7 p.m. Central, that's 8 on the East Coast, and 5 over on the West Side, guys. Heads up, be safe.